Hi, hello everyone. It's Tani here. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done an episode and I apologize, but I am back to it full time. I promise. I want to give today's post notification shout out to Irene Cookie. Thank you for turning on my notifications. If you guys ever want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications and comment down, down below and you could be next. That being said, let's just jump into the story. I'm trying my best to rise above it. But she is so incredibly uncouth, it is such a struggle to remain poised. I understand your struggle, Cordelia. Worry not, I have a plan to ensure that Kendall does not pass the first challenge. They're plotting against me. I should listen to see what they're planning. Otherwise, they could blindsight me in the first event. What are you planning to do? By the way, guys, I have to read over here because I recorded it, but then it the audio cut out, so I'm re-reading it. <laughs> I have servants trailing her. She informed my son last night that she is capable writer, so we must use this information to our advantage. How so? If she is capable, then she will be overly confident. I shall ensure the horse she is given is one that refuses to jump. This girl <laughs> can't. The more she tries to urge it, the more obstinate it will become, leading to her ruin. This queen, <laughs> as a lady with the lowest score, is immediately eliminated in the first event. She will be gone before the end of the week. Your majesty, you're really so clever. Fortunately, desperate times call for desperate measures. Zio is blinded by lust for her. This is for his own good. Of course. Your majesty is as insightful as she is benevolent. Cordelia needs to not, I swear. I can't believe they would do this. I should tell Theo. Yeah, you should. Hey. Hi. Are you okay? You look sad. I just overheard your mother talking to Cordelia about me. Saying what? Not good stuff. They're planning to oust me in the first challenge. How? She has servants following me, listening to the things I tell you. They overheard me telling you I can ride last night, so she plans to use my confidence to pair me with the horse who refuses to jump so I fail. Well, I won't let that happen. Okay, so this is the part of the story where I realized my audio had cut out and I had to refilm it, so we're fine now. <laughs> well, I won't let that happen. Now that we know what she's planning, I can help you pick a horse today who fits you and will make sure that's the one you ride in the first trial. I won't let you fail. <laughs> Period, Theo. I picked all my favorite horses that I think you'll enjoy riding. This lovely girl is called Gaia. She's a Palomino mare and she's very gentle. As an experienced rider, you could gain her trust very easily and she will be very obedient. Then there's Hera. She's a white mare and she's a little more feisty than Gaia. But she's good tempered and she loves galloping. You would be easily- Oh, okay, so that's good at least for the jumping. Like the fact that the horse that they were like threatening, sabotaging you with doesn't jump makes me think that jumping is like a very important part of the race. So you would easily be able to handle her and she would definitely enjoy you riding her. This beauty is Nightshade. He's a bit more to handle, but once he trusts you, he's very loyal and he loves jumping. Oh, there reminds me of Coco. He's not trusting at first but once he does trust you he's very sweet i think i'm gonna choose nightshade you'd be a perfect pair with him he's feisty and goes for what he wants i know you two would ride great together who do you want to ride a pick nightshade <laughs> i think that's a perfect choice for you come along then i packed a picnic for us the two of you ride into the countryside of castle the wind in your hair you hear theo beside you laughing with joy you forgot how much you enjoy horse riding as soon as you're riding you feel like a duck on water this Nature looks so real. I think it is real trees they put in the background. He finally stops you alongside a beautiful lake. Wow, this view is amazing. And the water is so blue. Yes, you can only get up here by hiking or riding. There's no road for cars. That's why I like it so much. It's very remote. That sounds relaxing. Just getting away from everything. Yeah, it really is. I was hoping you might feel the same as I. Come on, I have breakfast for us. Oh my god, and he cooks? Sir! Theo throws a blanket down on the grass and opens a basket of breakfast foods. The two of you sit in the beautiful fresh air alongside the sparkling blue lake. Okay, so first course I have bagels, turkey, brie, and cranberry sandwiches, and a classic peanut butter and jam on toast. I'm a simple girl. Give me the peanut butter. PB&J, please. <laughs> we have to thank Theo for his hard work, even though a cream cheese bagel would be nice. Thank you. This is great. So... I wanted to take some time to get to know each other a little better. That sounds amazing. I know at times I can be a little bit of a closed book, so I wanted to invite you to ask me whatever you want. Really? I want us to be open with one another. I never want to hide anything from you. If we're going to spend the rest of our lives together, it still like kind of scares me how like fast we're going, you know, but he's a prince, so I don't mind. But like if this was real life, red flag. We should be open with each other. I think that's a great idea. So ask me anything. I'll be completely candid with you. You can ask the three questions. Pick wisely. Okay. I want to ask. Oh, give me the tea. How many people have you slept with? <laughs> 
No, keep building your relationship with Theo to be able to ask him. It said I can ask him anything. That's not fair. Where would you take me on a honeymoon? Anywhere you want to go, anywhere in the world. I would book a round the world tour with a royal private jet. You and I would visit every last place you've ever wanted to see. We do everything. I would make it the most unforgettable experience of your life. Oh my goodness, show me the world, Theo. Just tell me, tell me everywhere you want to go and consider it done. That sounds amazing. I can't wait. But I, I want to know if you want to shut down. What's your favorite food? <laughs> I like Italian food, okay? Pizza, pasta, especially gelato and cannolis. I'd love to take you to Italy. We'd have a holiday home there near a beach. That sounds amazing. I'd love to go with you. I'm done with the questions. If I can't know how many people I slept with, I don't want to ask anymore. <laughs> Thanks for wanting to get to know me, Kendall. No one ever has before like you are right now. I just love talking to you. Will you ask me more questions? Of course, Theo. I'd love to. There's still more I want to know. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I have to ask a third. Oh, I can do juicier questions. I guess I had to ask him simpler ones first. Oh, baby. How many people have you slept with? I, um... There's no way. I haven't actually had any other girlfriends. So, I guess the answer is zero. There's no way. Really? Yes, does that bother you? <gasps> Cheers. Not at all. I guess I just thought someone as hot as you would have girls lining up. I think I've just been holding out for the perfect girl. Oh, you flirt. I want to ask, you want to have children? Yes. I'd really love to have two children. I know that with me being a monarch one day, it's expected. I have an heir and a spare, but I just really want to have two children like Mathilde and I. I want to be more hands-on than my parents were. I'd really love to go play tennis with my son or go riding with my daughter. My parents never really played with us. If I have children, I want to be there. I want them to grow up with great memories of their childhood. And they will. I promise, Theo. That's so sweet. I think you'd make a wonderful father. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Can I tell you something else? Something I've never told anyone before? Of course. I've never felt closer to anyone in my life than I do to you in this moment. I feel like he's told me this before. <laughs> I feel like you really see me. I love that about you. The more I see, the more I love. Brought dessert, by the way. They're French macarons. Oh my god, that's so... Mmm, I could have one right now. They taste amazing. Really? That means something coming from an expert. Oh, right, I'm a baker. Theodred leans in. Why did they say Theodred? <laughs> Wrapping a strong arm around your waist as he brings his lips close to your own. Taste? Ta what in the Wattpad? A taste of what? Taste of everything. Oh my goodness. Feed him the macarons and kiss him, baby. Open your mouth. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, okay, he was talking about the macarons. Yo, listen, they fooled me. I can think of something even more delicious, though. What would that be? Mm. Oh my goodness. Hey, guys, look at the mountains. After the picnic, the two of you wander around the lake, getting a closer look at the beautifully blue water. I used to come here a lot when I was a little boy. I would have loved that. I bet you went swimming in here all the time when you were a kid. No, never. Why not? Is the water toxic or something? No, the, the water is beautifully pure. It's just, I was never allowed to swim in it. Future monarchs don't conduct themselves in such ways, I guess. Oh, sir, that was before you met me. In what ways? They don't have fun? They don't go gallivanting around like common folk. That sounds like a garbage way to say you can't have any fun. In fact, let's go, come on. <laughs> Oh my god, we're showing him the world. We're showing him how the common folk do. What are you doing? We're going swimming, but we haven't brought any swimming clothes. Oh, Theo, when will you learn? Exactly. <laughs> There's no- Oh my god. He is shook. Come on, last one's in a rotten egg. Wait for me. <laughs> oh my god, we're so cute. I ship us. Nice cannonball. I thought if I was going to jump in, I might as well do it properly. Exactly. Come on. We've already broken the rules, so we may as well have fun swimming. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. The two of you swim the length of the lake, racing, splashing, and laughing at each other. You've never felt so free as you begin an exciting game of chase, where you swim away from him and wait for him to try and catch you. I feel like like he's gonna drown or something. I, I don't know. And like, they're gonna blame us. Or is that just like the person that loves thriller movies in me? That is... <laughs> The king of this. Theo cuts through the water like an athlete, and you can't help but be drawn to the impressively taut muscles down his chest, arms, and shoulders. Likewise, you catch him several times, his gaze lingering on your curves, and you shoot him a cheeky wink to watch him blush. Okay, so he didn't hurt himself. Oh, he scared me. <laughs> 
got me yeeting him. He flew. This is amazing. Who knew breaking the rules could feel so good, huh? Be careful. I'm starting to get a taste for this rule breaking business. Oh, am I rubbing off on you? You're driving me wild in every possible way. Good, because I feel the same about you. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be swimming in my underwear with one of my potential brides. Well, you know what they say. What do they say? Dare to dream, then decide to do. Hmm, oh, never heard that before. You are the only thing I want to do. <laughs> in every sense of the word. I don't want to dream anymore because dreams about you are never as good as the reality. Every second with you, I fall further and further under your spell. Every time I taste your lips, I want more. I want everything. Do you feel the same way, Kendall? Show them with a kiss. Your kisses drive me wild, Kendall. When I'm with you, everything else fades away. The contest, the crown, the constant media spotlight. It all just doesn't exist. The only thing I see is you. The only thing I feel is you. It's all I ever want forever. I wonder if his parents are gonna catch us. Oh guys, okay, y'all y'all can read this. I'm never letting you go. I hope you're aware of that. Never let me go, Theo. Let's go. <laughs> just like Rose and Titanic. I'll never let go. Guys, I know she meant like theoretically, but like it's still funny. I'm yours. You're mine. Oh, when a guy calls you mine. Woo! Oh my God, look look at them go. You just and head back to the castle, feeling closer to Theo than you've ever had to anyone in your life. Your confidence in writing has grown as you handle yourself with ease. Theo comments that the two of you are a great fit and he cannot wait to see you in the first trial. Oh, this, this is too good to be true, you guys. Your Highness, there you are at last. Your most royal father, the King, wishes to see you in the Green Throne Room. Shit. What's the Green Throne Room? <sighs> Trouble. Oh, inside the green throne room, the king and queen look livid. Oh my God, I feel like paparazzi caught us. Theo clutches your hand, but you can't keep from shaking. I'm falling in love with Theo and I feel like they're about to tear me away from him. Do you know why I've summoned you? No, father. Do not take us for fools, Theodrid. You have been off with this commoner, stripping in public and making a spectacle of yourself. What? But how did you, you were seen, oh, I knew it, by several photographers who followed you to the lake and took hundreds of lewd photographs of you two. Lewd? We only swam together. See for yourself. Your majesties, I'm sorry, I, why am I not surprised that you feel the need to say something when I suspect this is entirely your fault. Oof. My son would never have behaved in such a crass fashion before meeting such a terrible influence. Kendall is not a bad influence. She is the only person who seems to care if I'm happy. Happy? Do you have any idea how much money your father and I have had to pay to keep these images from being broadcast? Do you think that makes us happy? I apologize to you both. I never intended for photos to be taken, but I cannot stand idly by while you insult the woman I am falling in love with. The woman you what? <laughs> Theodred, you swore to your father you would obey the rules of the contest. I am obeying them, but I cannot hide the way my heart feels. I am falling in love with Kendall. Boy, just say you love me. Stop saying you're falling. You are a fool. This commoner does not love you. She is using you. Why am I the only person that sees that? Ask her. What? You say you're falling in love with this woman, yet she remains silent. Speak, girl. What have you to say on this? Your majesties, I want to be completely honest with you both. I do have feelings for your son. Every moment with him, those feelings grow and grow. I didn't have enough jobs to say I'm in love. Damn it. I know that everything about me is unconventional and I know that the two of you have his interests at heart, but I promise you the feelings I have for him in my heart they only get stronger. I am going to compete in the trials and I'm going to put my whole heart into it because I want to show you and Theo that I'm here for the right reasons. Thank you for that very touching sentiment, girl. My king, you cannot be seriously believing what she's saying. Be still. While I appreciate your honesty, the crown cannot be seen to give favor to any girl. As such, Kendall must be punished. Boy, punish your son. What did I do? Punished? Father, what are you saying? For actions unbecoming of a bride of his royal highness, I decree that Kendall will... Bro. 
the audacity. I totally would do a second episode right now if I was not going out of town this week. I don't have time to film a second episode, but from now on, all the episode videos will have two chapters, I promise. Oh my gosh. They're not sending me home. That is literally just like a cliffhanger. It's probably like there's a penalty where like all the girls get to start and I have like a 10 second delay or something and then my horse ends up being behind but then it slowly wins so we'll see but make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button comment your theories down below only if you actually don't know what happens and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.